Hello guys, in this video I'm going to walk through how to claim your Telos tokens using the Squirrel Telos wallet. So starting off, I am on telosfoundation.io, the Telos Foundation official website here on the downloads page. And on this downloads page, it has links to the Squirrel wallet as well as Scatter. I am going to be using Squirrel wallet as this is the official Telos wallet. So in order to download, I am on a Windows machine, I'm going to click the Windows download link here. I will leave a link to that download page in the description below. And once I click that link, that brings us up to the GitHub page. And this is where all the releases for the wallets are. So you're going to want to use the most recent release here that does have the Telos mainnet support. And under here there are links for Linux. Mac and Windows so depending on what type of machine you're on if you're on Linux you'll use the Linux link if you're on Mac you'll use a Mac link and I'm on Windows so I'm gonna use the Windows link here and it's Windows Squirrel 0.5.4 that is the latest release I'm gonna go ahead and click the executable file here and allow it to download okay now the Squirrel executable file has downloaded down here if you do not have this bar at the bottom of your browser I am using Chrome and it provides a download bar down here with the latest download. If it's not there, you can check your downloads folder for this executable file. But after it's downloaded, simply click the executable file. And I got this, Windows protected your PC. I'm going to go ahead and click more info and make sure it is what I downloaded. Windows Squirrel 0.5.4 executable. Yes, I want to run this. Click run anyway. Now we are in the executable squirrel file and this will install squirrel onto the desktop. So just a couple options to select here. I always like to keep it on the default. So next and right where it wants to install is where I keep it. You so simply click install. All right, so it is done. Uh, it has a checkbox for run squirrel automatically. I'm gonna unclick that for this example and click finish. And that provided a squirrel desktop icon right here so in order to get into the wallet you just click the squirrel desktop icon and that pulls up the squirrel wallet so once the squirrel wallet is pulled up you need a endpoint an api node to connect to i'm going to go ahead and click on telos mainnet because that is what i want to connect to the telos mainnet so telos mainnet and once you click that import existing account here is where you will import your EOS Genesis block account in order to claim your Telos tokens. So simply click import existing account. And here we are going to enter a public key or account name. This will be your EOS Genesis block public key or account name. Just give me one second here to get my account name. This is my EOS Genesis block test account. So this is just the uh, Genesis block account I use for example purposes like this. Doesn't have many EOS on it, so it won't have many Telos, uh, but it's great for doing a, doing walkthroughs like this. So let me make sure H-E-Z-D-G-U-G-E. -G -G -E. Yep, look up account. All right, so here is where we are going to input the private key. You're going to input the private active key. So since this is a Genesis block account and I haven't changed the keys on it, the active and owner key are the same, so I will just need my private key. Okay, now I have my private key typed into the box here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click compare keys. And this next page, you will give your local wallet a password. You can unclick the save encrypt local wallet with password if you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and give this a password. And once you hit save accounts, you will need to re-enter your password and then click save local wallet. Next up, the operating agreement comes up. You can read through this if you'd like, scroll to the bottom and click I accept these terms. So now I am in my Telos wallet. If I remember correctly, this should have about 15 Telos on it. So come over to the wallet section, and there they are, 15 TLOS coins. Right now, everything is staked except for 10, so each account will have 10 liquid Telos, TLOS, and everything else will be staked. 
And at this time, you cannot unstake. Unstaking will become active when the network hits activation at block 1 million. So up until we hit block 1 million, you can perform all other tasks except for unstaking. So this wallet might look familiar to some of you. This is very similar to Gray Mass with some added Telos features. If we come over to the governance, not only do you have block producers, you got a proxies section, a proposals section, an arbitration section, a TF voting section. So lots of nice features in here for the Telos network. And of course, everything else the same wallet where you can update your stake, send tokens, receive tokens, buy RAM, sell RAM. And of course, the tools section where you can add in your airdrop tokens or custom tokens. Uh, do delegations, manage your wallets, generate keys, create an account. So there you go. There's a quick walkthrough on how to claim your Telos tokens using the Squirrel Telos wallet. Within the coming days in the future here, I will be doing creating new accounts as well. So if you are interested in that, make sure to click on that notification bell and make sure you are subscribed. But if you guys did enjoy this video, I would love it if you dropped a like on it. It goes a long way to supporting the channel. And if you got any questions, you can drop them in the comments below or check out the Squirrel Telegram channel. But other than that, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys in the next 